Welcome back everyone. So in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can preview responsive design layouts in Figma and that too right within your canvas. Yes, you heard me right. And that is being made possible with this new beta plugin called Breakpoints. And it's basically in beta, but it works really flawlessly because I've already tried it. So I thought I'll just show you a demo on how to use this on your designs and your frames. So just go ahead and install this. I'll give the link in the description below. So to demonstrate you that I've just created a basic wireframe. So one for the mobile, one for tablet and one for the web. So we have three frames here with designs are according to the responsive layouts, as you can see. So as per the responsive layout, the designs have to change accordingly. So let's see how to create this. So first thing, just install the plugin. And as you can see here, I have the plugin right here. So this opens up a window like this. And the first thing you gotta do is just add an adaptive layout. So click on this button and it just adds a new frame, which is nothing but a layout. The next thing you gotta do is add breakpoints. So we don't have any breakpoints added yet. So first thing for the mobile from 320 to 600, that looks good. And the next breakpoint I want is for the tab so I just click on the plus button here and if you notice here breakpoints gets added here so I want this to go up to 1024 so I'll just click here and change this to 1024 so you can see that it changed and one more I want for the desktop layout so I want to change this to 1440 there you go so if you can see here on the adaptive layout frame uh, all your breakpoints gets added and the next thing you want to do is just assign the frames to each of these breakpoint ranges so the first thing is for the mobile so just click on the plus button here and as you can see it tells that from 320 to 599 what is the design that you want to assign so just go ahead and click on this frame and that's it this gets converted into a component and it gets added here so you can see that it's checked next thing for the tablet just click on this and select the tablet layout that's it and finally the desktop layout just click on the plus button here and select the web layout there you go that's it we are done and now we're going to see how it works so just click on this adaptive frame and there you go guys totally responsive design right on Figma's canvas. And you can also just, uh, you know, close the plugin and it, it's still gonna work the exact same way. So if you wanna see the bottom part, just increase the height of it. Uh, so there you go, we increase the height. And now as I change this, you can see how it's gonna responsively adapt to each of this breakpoint ranges. And this is completely, you know, component. So if I put it on tablet and if I change anything on tablet, you can see that it gets affected there as well. So you can just keep making your changes here and just keep previewing how the responsive is gonna behave. So that is the best part about it. As per my understanding, the plugin is basically trying to swap the component based on the breakpoint range here. But all the responsive resizing that's happening within each of these breakpoint ranges is because of the constants that we are set in the design. So if you see here, for example, this subtitle and title has a constant set to center. And for example, this block here is set to scale. So in case I set the subtitle and all this to left constant, constraint you'll notice that even when I resize this thing it is always set to the left and it won't adjust or uh, you know scale so for example this one here is again set to scale and that is why it's getting you know uh, resized accordingly so all those constants have to be in your design then only it will work perfectly here and one more thing is this won't work on your preview it's all about on your canvas itself just to preview how it looks while you're working on the design and also I'll be providing this demo file in the description below so you can go ahead and explore and try to understand it much better and uh, yeah I think I pretty much covered everything and this is really an amazing plugin so make sure you go and check it out and uh, this is still in beta so I am hoping that they'll be adding more features so it's really exciting so let's wait and watch that's it for this video guys thanks for watching